What's going on beautiful people and welcome back to Peace of Happiness 101 and today we have another phenomenal video for you guys. Earlier this week somebody asked me this multi-layered question. What do I do if the right person comes in my life at the wrong time? What do I do if the right person comes into my life at the wrong time? This is very delicate people. This is a multi-layered question and I'll definitely be glad to answer that question. Coming up next. What should I do if the right person comes into my life at the wrong time? What should I do if the right person comes into my life at the wrong time? First thing first, the first thing we're going to need to talk about is honesty. Yes, we're going to need to talk about honesty. Why is it important to talk about honesty to begin with? First thing first, you have to let the person know exactly where you're coming from. Why do you need to let the person know exactly where you're coming from? Because that's going to give the person option. Give the person option. Anytime you are engaging yourself into any conversation, anything that's relationship related, make sure that you're honest about everything. Because honesty is going to give the person option. Honesty is going to give the person the full view and it's going to be their decision to dive in. It's like, I'm honest with you. I told you everything that you needed to know. The next step is on your hand. The second thing about honesty is that you need to also be honest with yourself. Why are we even talking about self-honesty? We need to talk about it because you need to realize and remember everything you went through to tell yourself this is not the time to dive right back into another relationship. Just because you feel like the person is the right person doesn't automatically mean that person is actually the right person. We don't know that yet. So by that, you don't want to go back and give yourself more damage. Be honest with yourself. Tell yourself exactly why you don't want to dive back into another relationship. Just that simple. Nothing's going to happen. I'm being honest with myself. I'm being honest with the person. That's step one. The second thing is something that the person could be open to. And sometimes the person might not be open to it. It's friendship. Yes. Let's talk about friendship. When we say friendship in a situation like this, we have to be very, very, very specific as far as what kind of friendship you are looking for. Right now, you don't need any friends with benefits. You don't want that. Because that's basically going to play with your mind, deviated your entire intention. And next thing you know, five years down the line, you made the exact mistake that you didn't want to make. So yeah, we have to specify the friendship. We don't want no emotionally connected friendship. I don't want you to take that person as a shoulder to cry on. Because, because the worst thing is to be too vulnerable with somebody. And next thing you know, you guys start a conversation, people started crying, people started kissing, and next thing you know, another mistake. We, we don't want to get there. We don't want to have to waste anybody's time. And you also don't want to chase away the person who might actually be the right one. So you have to be very, very smart about it. So yeah, no emotionally connected friendship, no physically connected friendship. We're not looking for that. Within that friendship, what you need to do is to get to know the person, get to know the person little by little. Don't push anything on the person and do not allow anybody to push anything to you. Make it as specific as possible. Yes, we are friends, but we are just getting to know each other. Yes, we are friends. We are not so deep into going to date each other. This is not what it is. Yes, we are friends. I don't want you to sit there expecting to have a relationship with me further down the road. This is not the option there. If you want to be my friend just to be my friend, I am okay with that. But there's no intention. There's no consolation price. We don't want to tell people, yeah, let's start with friendship. And then further down the road, we'll see what happened. Don't even give that idea. That's what I'm going to keep saying. Be specific. Make sure that you let the person know right off the back, this is what we're dealing with. You are my friend. Not friend for benefit. You are my friend. We are not going to share any emotionally connected situation that's going to deviate our mindset. You are my friend not with the intention of you becoming something greater than friends. That's important. Let the person know, male or female, whatever the situation is, let them know because you don't want to keep people's hopes high. And next thing you know, when it doesn't go as expected, people start feeling some type of way about it. You don't want to do that. Capish? The third one, which is just as important as the two ones that we talked about, honesty, friendship. The third one is self-healing. You need some personal healing. You need some personal healing. Why do you even need some personal healing? Like I mentioned earlier, just because the person comes into your life acting as if they are the right person 
does not automatically mean they are actually good for you. The reason why I'm saying that is because sometimes after being in a relationship where you were verbally abused for the longest, emotionally abused for the longest, even physically abused for the longest, any taste of good companionship could actually deviate your intention. Let that sink in. Any taste, any good taste, anytime somebody treats you a little bit better, you will automatically fall into a trap if it is a trap. You have to be specific about that too. Make sure that you keep healing yourself within the friendship. After being honest with the person, after opening that friendship line, make sure that you are in the healing process. Make sure that you keep healing yourself. Make sure that you keep looking back into the relationship that you were in, trying to track down all the things that happened, trying to track down all the mistakes that you've done in your past relationship. Let that sink in. Trying to track back all the mistakes that you've done in your past relationship. That's why you're healing within that process as well. Analyze the type of friendship that you have with that person if it's actually worth it. Because you don't want to jump right in into another relationship to think that you've healed to the point where you are open for another new relationship because you don't want to put baggages on baggages. That's going to hurt more. Personal healing. Personal healing. Take your time. Be friend with the person. There's nothing wrong with being friends. Just as specific as I mentioned. Let the person know, hey, we could talk from time to time. It's nothing specific. We don't need to be going on dates. There's no intention there. There's no intention as far as me becoming your person. Don't even think about it this way. We are just friends. You talk to me, I talk to you. We could have some fun. Anything that's not physically related, anything that doesn't involve emotional connections. That's important that we strategize this path as far as us getting to know each other properly while you're healing yourself. Personal healing. Keep healing yourself. Start catching on hobbies. Do things that you never used to do before. Trying to go around and find yourself a little bit more before diving in into another relationship. Because the worst thing is to think that this person was the right person and then boom, they were just bringing a front. Especially after being honest with the person, telling the person exactly what you've been through. Sometimes people would listen to everything that you've said, use it against you. That have happened way too many times. You have to be very cautious about that. You need to really pay attention about that because a lot of folks out there are going to listen to everything that you've been through thinking they understood and they were trying to help you out within that entire process and come to find out it was a punch back motion. You have to be extra careful about it. This is something that you have to pay attention to. That's why it's important to be honest first. Be honest that the person know exactly what you're going through. Be honest not only with the person, but also with yourself. Second, open that line of friendship. Analyze the person within that pattern. See exactly what the person's able to offer. Check their potential. See exactly what's going to happen if you were to ever give that person a chance to be with you. And the third one is to give yourself time for personal healing. Give yourself time for personal healing. Yes, take that time. And then, and then to conclude at the very end, if this is somebody whom you've seen to be potentially ready to be with you, that's it. That could be one of the best decisions you've ever made, but there's a pattern to it. You have to practice. You have to understand exactly that the next shot is going to be a good shot. So yeah, if somebody happened to come into your life thinking this person is the right person, but they came in at the wrong time, these are the steps to follow. Yeah. Just that simple. Nothing more, nothing less. If I've missed something, feel free to comment below. Let me know exactly what I've missed. But in the meantime, those three steps are basically something that I would definitely pay attention to to begin with. On that note, folks, keep trying to better yourself. Keep trying to understand your relationship if you're in one. Do not just give up. Fight for what you love. And while you're fighting, fight for the right reasons. Thank you so much for watching. For those of you who've been with us from the get-go, we appreciate everything you've been doing around the channel to support it. And if you are new to the channel, take a look around. See if there's anything that might catch your interest. If so, do not forget to subscribe. Until then, take care of yourselves and each other. Peace.